Willkommen. Hello, my name is Otto M. Schwarz. Welcome to my podcast. Here, I would like to give you some ideas to my oeuvres, information that can't be found in my scores and which you might even hear for the first time. The first oeuvre I would like to talk about is the story of Anne Frank. Of course, it's a delicate topic and it doesn't deal with the diaries, but it deals with the story of her life. Anne Frank was born in Frankfurt, Germany in 1929. She led a happy life until the political change shook everything up. She had to flee to Amsterdam, where she was betrayed and therefore taken to a concentration camp in the East. And Frank died of typhus in the Bergen-Belsen camp at the age of 15. My connection to Anne Frank is the following. As my father was born in 1929, I remember his childhood pictures, which are similar to those of Anne, although my father was a boy. But it is hard to see a difference in pictures of the 1920s, as they look mostly the same. And then there are those people neglecting the truth nowadays. In many schools, the diaries of Anne Frank are not dealt with, as we cannot burden our children with the truth or the brutality of these times. As I was studying history, well, let's say I started to, and I'm very interested in it, I have always wanted to write an oeuvre about Anne Frank. Because if people aren't into history, they have to listen to it in my concerts. Denn wenn Menschen sich nicht mit Geschichte befassen, dann bekommen sie es halt von mir beim Konzert und dann müssen sie sich das eben anhören. Ein weiterer Punkt. Another aspect for writing this oeuvre was that my grandfather couldn't get an Aryan certificate and was fighting as a volunteer at the Eastern Front to protect his family. He never returned. So, how did all this develop? I was a member of a jury in Singapore. Bert Alders was my colleague from the Netherlands. He ordered an oeuvre and told me to compose whatever I would like to. Holland has schon einen Bezug und es gibt ja gerne Frank und well, I told him, it wasn't as easy as that. There is a relation to the Netherlands here. And there is Anne Frank. And it would be great, a great idea to compose an oeuvre so that people don't forget. Bert Alders was completely enthusiastic. After having settled the legal aspects of this topic with the publishers, I decided to write the story. The beginning. Imagine a little baby, only a few years old. It is the beginning of a true story where you can hear a celeste accompanied by piano and flute. Everything starts innocently. The main theme starts at beat 15. As many of you know, I am a composer while considering melodies. This hook line, the recognizable, is very important for myself, no matter if it is melodical, harmonic or rhythmic. An ID or hook line in a composition is significant. I think that especially with this oeuvre, it's very important that the audience will be informed about the history and the background of the composition. 
as it is not only dealing with something dreadful, which of course happens in the end. The oeuvre starts with the happy times of Anne, the rows with her sister and her parents, playing ball in the backyard in Frankfurt. And then there is one funny thing, which has often been misinterpreted. I got some emails asking if I'm crazy to compose such a funny passage in an oeuvre covering such a serious topic. But all these misunderstandings come up when the background of the composition is not known. In this seven, eight time, you can hear a ball game, the bouncing on the floor. And when you throw the ball against the wall, it results in odd time beats. You can hear the bouncing and just having fun in this part. The whole situation dramatically changes when the Nazis seize the power. Until this passage, Anne Frank's story was free from troubles and sorrows, as her father was a wealthy businessman. With the seizure of power, the march of the SA changes everything. You can also hear phrases of the SA song, Die Fahne hoch, raising the flags. Die Fahne hoch, dieses Lied, das natürlich für die SA ein ganz ein besonderer Bestandteil war. I myself did not know that this is forbidden to sing or perform this song in Austria or Germany. I only got this information while recording the oeuvre. Dear Mr. Schwarz, we cannot record this as it is not allowed to play this song. And it was even more ridiculous, as it was the German Bundeswehr, the army, saying that. Well, after some research in various films, the song can be heard as well. I found out that there is a law saying that the song may be used for pedagogic reasons, as in my oeuvre, the song is not meant to be glorifying, but warning. We were allowed to use it in the end. Wir haben gedacht und dadurch konnten wir das dann auch ohne Probleme aufnehmen. Anne Frank verlässt dann natürlich Deutschland. Die deutschen Truppen. Anne Frank then leaves Germany. The German troops follow. Anne Frank begibt sich in dieses. She Haus. and her parents move to the house where she starts writing her diaries. In my music, you can hear the dreams and the magnificent. If you've ever been locked or lonesome for a longer time, you are aware of these kind of longings. I put the dream of the young girl longing to get to know the big wide world when she has the chance to get away from the house on paper. But nothing like that happens. The Frank family were betrayed, they're deported, and the train leaves to the east. The difficulty in interpreting the oeuvre is exactly from this passage, where they are deported until the absolute nightmare where sirens are howling and everything escalates, performing a continuous crescendo and interpreting the passage with the corresponding drama. Imagine a girl dressed in white is flying reversely to Nirvana all in slow motion. Es gibt auch einen Überlebenden, das ist Otto Frank und Otto Frank. Uh But there is one survivor, Otto Frank. He finds Anne's diaries, her memories, and then he published them and left them to posterity. 
um der Nachwelt etwas weiterzugeben. The oeuvre ends as it has begun. Im Endeffekt. It could be a perpetuum mobile in the end, saying times are repeating. A stitch in time saves nine. You can find more information on my oeuvres on Instagram and Facebook, on my website ottomschwarz.com, on the Hal Leonard site bandmusicshop.com, on Spotify, YouTube and other social media platforms.